Hello, I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and recently you've noticed that these RJ45 mod plugs that you know work with Cat5 and Cat6 cable are sold in a solid and stranded option and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, what's, what's the difference between one to the other? Uh, you know, let's talk about that. But before we get to the plugs, let's talk about the difference between the solid and stranded Ethernet cable. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what a Cat5E stranded cable conductor looks like. Okay, now as you can tell, you've got a lot of strands in each conductor with the jacket covering it. Now let's take a quick look at what a solid conductor cable looks like. Okay, so now you've seen what the stranded and solid conductor looks like. And you're going to want to use a solid plug for a solid cable and a stranded plug for a stranded cable. Now let's take a close look at the mod plug. Now there are some, these are very small pieces inside these plugs that I'm talking about. Uh, very hard to see, so I have highlighted in the red circle. I want to talk about the gold pins inside the plug. Okay, now th that gold pin inside that mod plug, uh, if, if you look at it from the side of the plug, you might be able to tell that the solid uh, conductor, the solid pin is actually uh, crooked. It's kind of split. So when you terminate it from the top, it slides around the solid cable, wrapping around it, making a proper contact for it. Now the stranded plug, the gold pin is straight, and that's so you want to come right on into the middle of all them strands and make the best possible contact. Now I got a little cheat sheet here. Uh, hopefully this will explain it a little better to you guys. But basically, a solid conductor is one piece of copper. You got your jacket around it. And this kind of upside down Y, this is the way the pins would look when you terminate your RJ45. It wraps around the center conductor, making a good contact. Now the stranded conductor, the pin is straight. So when you crimp it down, it goes straight into the middle of the conductor, making the best possible uh, connection for your signal. Now I do want to mention, if you use a stranded conductor mod plug and you try to terminate it onto a solid conductor mo uh, cable, most of the time uh, it'll work. Every once in a while from time to time you might have a problem because this straight stranded plug pin isn't, it, it gets kind of crimped or doesn't make a good enough contact onto the solid conductor. You might be thinking to yourself, why am, I made this cable, it's pinned out right, but for whatever reason it's not working. If you're using the wrong plug, you might bump into that. And uh, that's basically it. I hope I helped you guys out a little bit. And if you have any questions or, um, you know, you can order this stuff online or anything whatsoever, call us. The number here is 888-797-3697.